Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we gather here today to celebrate the men and women who have successfully completed high school here at our beloved Frederica Academy. Thank you for all that you have provided for us. We are so grateful for all that the faculty, staff, and administrators have invested in each of us for an environment that allowed us to reach our fullest potential, and most importantly, for a place that gives us the freedom to seek you in our pursuit of wisdom and knowledge. We are grateful for our families and friends who have loved, supported, guided, and even corrected us as we advance to this point. Please pour your blessing over each and every person that has influenced and supported us. We ask that you watch over this class as we enter a new stage in life and that you guide us and aid us in whatever endeavors we pursue. Lord, equip us for our challenges and give us the courage to step out in faith towards our future and when destiny calls. Please continue to bless the hard work and effort that these students have demonstrated to reach this great milestone in life and help them to make wise decisions in the coming months as they get ready to go to college and pursue various careers. May we never forget to look to you first with grateful hearts and open minds. We love you and thank you, Lord. Amen. Please join me in the pledge. I pledge allegiance. Hello, I am Piper O'Quinn. As student body president, it is my honor to welcome all the parents, grandparents, faculty, board of directors, and graduates of the class of 2018 to this wonderful celebration. After 35 Mondays, we have finally made it. Thank you to everyone for encouraging us, pushing us, and never giving up on us. We are grateful to have wonderful people behind us. The class of 2018 has a lot of memories to look back on. From being the first group of students to travel to Washington, D.C. on the annual Carpe Vitam trip, to witnessing the first football state championship, and being under leadership since the sixth grade that made sure we left things better than we found it. Mr. Temple, thank you for leading us through middle and high school. And Ms. Fleming, we are so grateful that you would be willing to step in to be the calm and steady leader our school needed. These memories, events, and leadership has brought about the change and growth that makes us who we are today. The class of 2018 has experienced many changes and growth during our time at Frederica Academy. To look at the school, we have seen changes in the actual facility, such as the new Murray Fieldhouse and the Arts Center. But within the doors of the buildings, we have seen the most changes and growth. My favorite change has been able to see our class grow and bond together. Whether we are in the classroom, competing on a sports team, or performing in a fine arts event, we have tried to treat each other as family, to help each other where we can, and encourage each other with our words and actions. My hope and prayer is that the class of 2018 can make these positive changes and growth and bring them into the colleges we attend so that those places and people are left better than we found it. Thank you, Piper. That was very, very nice. You've um, led the student council beautifully and we appreciate that very much. Um, I can't tell you um, what a strange year this has been in my life. Um, I had retired. I had gotten used to being retired. I'd looked forward to retirement. And I got this invitation to go out to lunch on my birthday. And so I was sitting there with old friends, and all, all of a sudden this invitation came, kind of a desperate invitation, I might say, to come back and um, lead the school. And um, 
I had a few things planned, including a knee replacement that got moved up a year, and um, a couple of trips and some things like that. And you know, it didn't take me long to realize that I really, really wanted to be here and again. And I had really, really stayed away. I had been to one graduation the whole time. I had been to a couple of May Days, because I do love May Day. And um, then I had kept up with a couple of people, but um, really just going to the plays on Sunday afternoon in the village and things like that. But then I walked in um, to the group of faculty that I loved and began to know. And then I walked into school and I realized it was this class. And I've adored this class since they were very little. And um, I was pleased that Chappie mentioned being in pre-K because I remember Chappie when he was in pre-K. I remember McCall when she was in pre-K. I remember um, Abby and Adrian when they were in pre-K. And they were tiny. I mean, McCall was so little, she looked like she belonged in, uh, at, I don't know what, she looked like she was a doll. <laughs> I remember she, her mom had her so dressed up and, you know, and their big brother walked her in. And I remember that was like yesterday. Chappie didn't look like his other two brothers. He was this little blonde boy. And I remember one time Chappie had to be in the hospital and I went flying over to the hospital to see him and everybody was so worried about him. And guess what? Chappie was bouncing around on the bed and he was fine. And it was just like usual and he got to be fine. But through that time, you've added some wonderful people to your class and um, gradually I got to know you. I know a lot of you are tired this morning. We're really proud of what, how you've been showing off your school so well and representing your school through all kinds of activities. And um, you're soon going to receive your diplomas. You've worked hard to earn these diplomas. And um, you're also going to receive a Bible today. And I wanted to explain the origin of that. Your name's on the Bible. Some of you will take it home and study from this Bible. It will continue to be a compass for your life. Some of you will put it on a bookshelf, and that's fine if that's what you choose to do with it. But it can, it'll be there, and if you, you want to use it, you can, but it's a great compass for your life if you choose to use it. Um, you're bright, you're multi-talented, you're going in many different directions, but I have a feeling a lot of you will keep up with each other. We would love to have you come back, and um, you've been lots of help to your school. You've been an encouragement to each other, and um, it's, it's going to be a good life for you. But you're going to continue to have to work hard and um, be, continue to be committed scholars. Some of you will even have to learn to be committed scholars, and I know you're going to grow into that. <laughs> I know you will. Um, I think um, two people, Mr. Temple and Mrs. Nevins, you need a special thank you for. They have never, never given up on you. And the rest of your teachers as well. And um, please understand that you are welcome back at any time. We shall miss you. We want you to come back. And you may always remember that you will be an FA night and may God lead you and know that he travels with you everywhere you go. Thank you very much. Good morning. Sorry, I'm a little bit out of it this morning. I had to wake up uh, 4 a.m., you know, to watch the big event on TV. <laughs> they were uh, replaying Caddyshack on the Golf Channel, so <laughs> that's what's really important to me, to see that when it happens, you know, not DVR it. Um, I'm here to do uh, some recognitions and awards. The first is uh, the ties that bind that Ms. Fleming came up with uh, when it first happened, that is uh, an FA graduate who has a child who is graduating from Frederica. 
And uh, this year we have one of those. It's uh, John Mitchell Brock. Could you stand please, John Mitchell? And there he is. And his dad, who actually was in my graduating class in 1986, Mitch Brock. Mitch, where are you? There he is. He was an athlete too. I could go on and on about it, but congratulations. The next awards, set of awards I'd like to give is uh, the Benefield Award. The Benefield Award goes to any student who has completed their entire high school or their entire school career at Frederick Academy, at least K through 12, 13 years. So that's a lot of service, a lot of dedication. This school is their home and life. And uh, we thank these kids for everything they've done for us. And uh, some of us who have been here for that long have, have seen them grow up and it's just uh, special to see. They asked me to give this award. I also received the Benefield Award way back in uh, 1986. So um, would you come up and get your award when I call your name? The first one goes to Abby Brock. McCall Dyer. GISA State Medalist Thomas Hogan. Sam Morales. Jacob Myers. George Palakis. Chappie Rowland. Adrian Stubbs. <laughs> and Constance Sullivan. It is my honor to introduce the salutatorian of the class of 2018, George Palakis. George, could you please stand to be recognized? Let's get the embarrassing stories out of the way. How many salutatorians get asked to leave the gym during heated basketball games on repeated occasions? How many salutatorians have the nickname Red Card George? How many star students are banished to the, princi the principal's office for two months during their free period to work on an AP stats class in order to simply go to soccer practice? George does. How many salutatorian parents seem to have a quarterly meeting with the principal to ask the simple question, what is he doing and how do we stop it? George does. Much like his peers in the class of 2018, George Palakis does nothing without passion. If you walk by class and observe George, you see the academic side, focused, intelligent, creative, and curious. If you wait a minute or so, you'll see the grin, the smile, and hear the comment that cracks up the whole class, and then it's back to business like nothing ever happened. Ironic youth soccer referee, Frederica ambassador, math team member, 
Science Bowl winner, National Honor Society, Georgia Certificate of Merit, AP Scholar with Distinction, 10 AP classes, Honor Council, Student Council, Star Student, dual citizen of Greece and the United States. George Palakis does nothing without passion. And one of the great coincidences of life, the quote that has always been in my mind since I met George in the sixth grade, seven long years, <laughs> is, a, is from a famous movie starring Anthony Quinn. The movie is Zorba the Greek. I promise I didn't set it up. Zorba says to a serious young man, you have everything but one thing, madness. A man needs a little madness or he never cuts the rope and becomes free. George Palakis is gifted with great academic talents, but his true gift is passion and the ability to lend that passion to those around him. Walk with George for a day and be educated, but you will be entertained. This is a gift. Intellect is a great responsibility, but a sense of humor and passion makes for a well-rounded education. If I could compare George's role on our campus to a character or a person, it would have to be Willy Wonka from the Char Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. In the story, Willy Wonka is the genius, the most gifted maker of candy that brings a passion and exuberance to children's lives. Most of the adults are just confused by his lack of seriousness. However, you have to get to the end to understand the point of the story, to find someone with passion and honesty and curiosity to run the factory. Willy Wonka needed someone who could think and create and enjoy the process. The very best line of the movie is said to Grandpa Joe, when everybody is so serious and everybody wants to know the secret, Willy Wonka uh, winks to Charlie and says, a little madness now and then is relished by the wisest men. Of all the work and the rules and the demands and regulations that we impose on our children, George has always been able to do AP calculus and AP chemistry but he's always had a little madness along the journey. That madness we call passion and laughter. George's passion brings balance to the equation for our school. For the class of 2018, and for George Palakis, that has been the key to his and their success. George Palakis will con to continue to stir up a little nonsense now and then at Emory University. I think I should call ahead, and let them know what they're getting. Could we all rise and applaud the accomplishments of George Palakis as he comes to the podium for his salutatorian address? Sorry, I missed the practice. Um, firstly, I would like to congratulate the uh, varsity soccer and baseball teams for reaching the state championship. Let's finish the drill. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. As we gather here today to celebrate the successes of the class of 2018, I would like to take some of your time to reflect on the past four years of our lives. First, I'll start with freshman year. For many, high school seemed like a daunting place. After all, the next four years would define not only our college decisions, but ultimately our futures. This was it, sink or swim. While the tales of endless hours of studying and near impossible exams struck fear into the hearts of many, we were determined. We would succeed. With the help of our caring and passionate teachers, we, we quickly realized high school wasn't so bad after all. It was, dare I say it, a good time. It seemed like maybe we did have what it took to be a success in these pivotal years. We entered sophomore year with a confidence about us and a will to build upon what we had accomplished thus far. Sophomore year, we finally fit in. With our newfound sense of acceptance, the year flew by. We concluded our second year with great memories, new friendships, and a greater image of what our futures would hold. Next, junior year, the true test of our scholastic capabilities and our, and our capacity to problem solve. The penultimate year of our high school lives was definitely one of the most challenging. From studying for AP Bio into the early morning after games to desperately trying to get that extra point on our ACTs, this year was demanding to say the least. Junior year would have arguably the most major implications on our futures and our dedication was definitely tested, but we made it. Combining hard work, perseverance, and just the right amount of caffeine, 
we concluded junior year with a true sense of achievement and a yearning to see our labors bear fruit in the following years. Last but definitely not least comes senior year, the year of last, our last first day of school, our last sports games, our last year to be with the people who had filled the last four years of our lives. This is the year we would finally learn what college we would be spending our next years in and gain a glimpse of the challenges and rewards of adult life. This was it. The great race called high school was finally coming to a bittersweet conclusion. As I stand here today looking at the class of 2018, something very distinct grabs my attention. A mere look at the surface will show you the largest graduating class in Frederica's history. More than 10 college athletes, more awards and distinctions than I have time to talk about. Countless AP classes, state championships. We've truly done it all. But today, I ask that you look beyond the surface, that you look at the greater impact our grade has had on the community as a whole, an aura of excellence, a commitment to overcome hardships, a sincere desire to help the less fortunate. In front of me today, I don't just see the class of 2018, but a group which will not settle for average, but strive to be the best. In conclusion, I would like to leave my peers with a piece of advice. In the words of the great musician John Lennon, a dream you dream alone is only a dream. A dream you dream together is reality. Dear classmates, I urge you to dream together in the next stage of your lives and to remember the incredible things we can achieve when we believe. Congratulations, class of 2018. Thank you for your time. It is now my privilege to introduce the valedictorian for the class of 2018. Constance Marie Sullivan, could you please rise to be recognized? We all know that Constance is a brilliant scholar and a person who gives 100% effort in everything she does. Constance, you get the most out of your day than anyone I have ever taught or worked with. We all wish we had your focus, your time management skills, but most importantly, your, your humility. Constance is a scholar of immense passion and skill, one of 13 independent school scholars, distinguished AP scholar, University of Georgia Certificate of Merit, National Merit Commended Student, Honor Council, Student Council, Furman Scholar, Georgia Honor Semifinalist, National Honor Society, Math Bowl, Science Bowl, State Winner for the Colonial Dames, of America Writing Contest, Suwannee Book Award winner, and second place in the solo singing co category for the literary meet, and then she turned around and was first placed in the argumentative essay. She also did sailing and cross country teams. Constance has always managed to do more in one academic day than all of the rest of us. Just her presence and integrity in the classroom is enough for all of us to pause out of respect for her talents in the classroom. However, and there always is a however, Constance's academic achievements only paint a small portion of her canvas of, the work, of her work at our school. There's the other side of Constance that makes her place in our community so impactful. When the faculty sat down together to work on Honors Day, there was never a question about the award she deserved. It was the Senior Service Award. Constance, in the words of her English teacher, Katherine Henderson, saw a need and filled a need. Three years ago, Constance started the Frederica Ambassador Program in the upper school. I have never been to a meeting, requested anything, but every time someone needs students to help out, give a tour, or be present for the school, we just say, call Constance. And it gets done. I walk into meetings, programs, and preparation for special celebrations, and there's always a group of prepared, engaged ambassadors keeping the gears of our school going with the right people, our students, leading the way. Constance is the consummate servant leader. Simon Sinek says that the courage of leadership is giving others a chance to succeed, even though you bear the responsibility for getting things done. Through the ambassador program, Constance has provided an opportunity for any and all students to become more than a, just a student at our school. Constance is a servant leader who lives by the ideal, if you put others first and yourself last, we all get better. It's a community concept that explains how a rising tide lifts all boats, and Constance has been that tide for our community. We all know how talented she is in the classroom, 
but her dedication to us is as impressive as her GPA. All because Constance sought to make her school a better place and cast a net very wide to include everyone who wanted an opportunity to just do more. She is the valedictorian, but her greatest accomplishment has been her ability to create opportunity for all of us to grow. Servant and leader. Constance Sullivan is an example of what her classmates have been for four years on this campus. The very best definition I have ever heard of leadership was given by General Colin Powell. True leadership is when people just follow you out of curiosity. Constance, we are all curious to see where you're gonna go and what you will do. We are all curious to see what you will create next year in the honors program at the University of Georgia. Could everybody please rise and applaud the accomplishments of Constance Sullivan as she takes the podium for a valedictorian address. Good morning. On behalf of the class of 2018, welcome to our graduation. This great day is a landmark for all of us as we head off into the future. It is the culmination of years of hard work, none of which would be possible without the help of our teachers, friends, and family. We wish to thank all of the faculty and staff for their tremendous support during our time here at Frederica Academy. Additionally, we thank our families for supporting us. Our success is a measure of your love and relentless belief in us. And believe me, we have learned a lot over these years. We learned that it's probably not the best idea to slide down the Lincoln Memorial, that standing bottom bagels is optimal for a quick breakfast at break, and that the academic center is more than just a bed and breakfast. Today, we stand on the brink of our future, one that is as expansive as the sky above us. We will use the skills we have garnered to forge ahead and pursue our goals. We are the future teachers, artists, business executives, scientists, lawyers, musicians, politicians, doctors, designers, athletes, and law enforcement who will shape our tomorrow. But we have a mission to complete. We need to step up and take responsibility within our lives and be accountable. Our word is ours. Make it count. And whatever job we do, we need to do it right. For our actions have vast implications on the future. This is our community, our city, our state, our country, our world. Each of us possesses special skills that we will develop more fully in the next few years to fulfill this task. Although we may confront strife, we must never forget our own talents. Don't be afraid to use your knowledge and ideas, regardless of what field you select, since every action, plan, or dream can have a significant impact on and alter others' realities for the better. Fabricating a lightweight, fashionable dress designed from sustainable, recyclable materials, splicing DNA of specific plants to create a crop of vegetables which can withstand harsh, arid environments, drafting a peace treaty that terminates the conflict in our divisive world, constructing a robot that can actually clean my room, good luck with that one, designing a pill that could instantly explode malignant cells and cure cancer, without making a person ill, or simply smiling to make a child feel welcome and significant in the world. These are all magnificent activities that we can make possible through our ingenuity, our gifts that make us truly individual souls. After all, we are the best. Just look through the yearbook and you can find all of our accolades. Good luck, rising seniors. We're a tough group to follow. We all have one chance to walk on the face of the earth and make a difference. Each of us has a specific purpose, unique as the pattern decorating the bottom of our feet, the reflections of our individuality. Our goals and dreams are as varied as the wind, but each one of us will use the sole of our foot to move forward. We will use our feet and step out into the world to leave our mark. Hopefully we won't step into quicksand. 
we will leave a legacy of our footprints behind. Wherever the soles of our feet take us, we will make our footprints count, facing obstacles with a calm spirit, for we have learned that we can persevere, even when facing the most unbecoming circumstances. As Winston Churchill once aptly stated, kites rise highest against the wind, not with it. Be that kite, be yourself, true to your soul, and get ready to soar. Thank you. Hello. There is no way to sum up the class of 2018 because our class is constantly evolving. We have changed so much since we first stepped foot in Corn Hall. Not a single man or woman on this stage today is the same person they were in August of 2014. We have grown as students, faced challenges individually and collectively, and grown closer not only as people, but as leaders and representatives of this fine institution. Responsibility, ethics, truth, determination, grace, and most importantly, compassion was expected, demanded, and offered to us every day at Frederica Academy. We witnessed how to be our best selves no matter the situation. Frederica Academy, we are excited to take the next step in our lives, but you will be missed. I could not be more proud standing here and speaking for this amazing class. I will cherish the memories I have made with each and every one of you. Federica Academy faculty and staff, the class of 2018 thanks you greatly and also apologizes for all the mayhem we may have caused along the way. Sorry, Mr. Temple, senioritis is real. At this time, I would like to announce the senior class gift. Drum roll, please. The class of 2018 will be donating a beautiful fountain that will be placed on the lawn in front of Corn Hall. The, uh, the fountain is currently being created by a sculptor, so I'm afraid you will not be able to see it today. We apologize. I would like to thank everyone for coming and supporting us today. I do not know where we'd be without our families and loved ones. Thank you, Mom, Dad, yes, you too, Hunter. I wish every member of the class of 2018 the best of luck in your new lives. Thank you, Federica Academy, and go dogs. <laughs> And I guess it's time for what everybody's waiting for. Maddie, can you take your group? Madison Page Anderson. Zachary Hunter Anderson. <laughs> Jennifer Arellano Mendoza.
Abigail Ruth Brock. John Mitchell Brock. <laughs> McCullough Reese Brown. Santana Travoni Clark. <laughs> Nicholas Wade Dixon. Missouri McCall Dyer. <laughs> Matthew Glenn Hagstrom. Emily Catherine Harrison. <laughs> Thomas Barnes Hogan. Catherine Adler Hook. <laughs> Turner Allen Jameson. Chandler Lee Kicklider. <laughs> Joseph Robert Levitan. Jalea Marie Lewis. <laughs> Eric Asa McCall.
Sean Michael McElroy. Allie Mackenzie Meekum. <laughs> Trevor Jefferson Moores. Samuel Donald Morales. <clears throat> Jacob Davis Myers. Lee Crawley Norton. John Jack Patrick O'Hara. Sawyer Graham Olivieri. <laughs> Piper Lee O'Quinn. Tyler Benjamin Pierce. <laughs> Whitney Elizabeth Rose Poncel. Georgios Polakas. <laughs> Anna Jane Powell.
William Chapel Rowland. Matthew Thomas Runyon. <laughs> Arden Gray Simmons. Curran Julia Squire. Ryan Scott Stylin. Sarah Adrian Stubbs. Constance Marie Sullivan. <laughs> Eric Hezekiah Tatum. Olin David Thompson the third. Paul Everett Thompson Jr. Siler Burnett Thompson. <laughs> Madison Elizabeth Veal.
Tarut Vong Shaset. Jerry Thomas Whaley. Yeah. Hannah Grace Yarborough. Congratulations, graduates. I think we should all give them one big round of applause. Okay, with the um, graduates stay standing, and um, let's move your tassels over together. Okay. Okay. And turn around one more time so we can all applaud our newest alums of Frederica Academy. And there's one more tradition we have after our newest alums sit down. We're gonna ask our juniors to stand. <laughs> Who will be um, our newest seniors and will be the class of 2019, and we welcome you into your leadership role. Thank you very much. <laughs> okay. okay, would you please stand and join us in the album? <laughs> 